Welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're playing Hitman 2, the elusive contract, The Prince, in Sapienza, Italy. Will the Prince be slain by Dr. Ace? Good evening, 47. Your target is Father Adorico Candelaria, a Catholic cardinal considered by Vatican insiders as a strong contender to be the next pope. However, ICA files indicate there is a series of links between the target and the Pinochet regime in Chile in the 70s and 80s. The target is currently on tour of Europe with a stopover at the church in Sapienza, where his itinerary states he will spend some time in prayer. He will be extremely well protected at all times by multiple layers of high alert security. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Good afternoon, 47. The Cardinal's security team has locked down the Sapienza Church. A small group of demonstrators has gathered outside to protest, but they are being kept away from the target and the church itself. Intelligence indicates a sizable team has secured every approach to the church and the target. Nothing you won't be able to handle. Good hunting. Good hunting indeed, Diana. Thank you. Who am I to interrupt Diana Burnwood? Which I would never do. So here we are in Sapienza, Italy, with Agent 47 himself. So, I have already run through this elusive contract myself, just briefly beforehand. However, I couldn't find the opportune time to kill the prince. So, I looked into this and I tried different ways to do it. Uh, it took me a good couple of hours, maybe... No, maybe not that long, actually, about an hour and a bit, to decide how I take on the prince. I actually did rather well so far, and I was about to record it, and then I got caught and everything went uh, went elsewhere, it, let's say. So anywho, the, the same plan was going to be applied here. We're going to sneak into this room and take over a disguise. So just to mention as well, I started off with the, the lockpick Mark II, and of course the three coins, because why not? The three coins can be used as a distraction. So I'm going to utilize the sink here. And I just fancy changing clothes for, for no apparent reason at all. There isn't actually any reason I should do that, so I change back into my suit. That beautiful signature 47 suit. So you can just hide here until the guard comes out to suspect. I wasn't sure if I could hide there next to the sink, but you can hide here by jumping onto the trolley, if you will. So the gentleman comes in here to have a gander. Wondering, I mean, I don't even know how he heard the water running from there, but I am not complaining. The 47 was able to take advantage of the opportunity. So we're going to subdue him, and then I'm going to make a mockery of changing clothes, because I changed back into the thingy disguise, back into the suit, and eventually I got it right. So once we have the suit and we're now ready to roam around this area without any suspicion, apart from the guy who's obviously a little bit more experienced than the rest of them, so my plan now is to try and figure out a way to kill the prince. From what I'd seen, the prince goes down from the bottom to the middle of the church and around the courtyard of the church. From what I understand, he doesn't make any more moves, uh, although I didn't see it all. This was my first encounter with him, and I thought... How can I get him? So obviously if he goes down here, just watch out for that guard there. Checking out what sort of items I've got. I think I was just trying to um to see whether I could distract them both and quickly get him, subdue the other guy and then place him downstairs. We will be going downstairs at some point. But right now I needed to find out where he was going. I needed to know his plan. I need to know where he's actually scheduled to walk. So with the tools we have... I'm going to check to make sure if there's a possibility of maybe an explosion or some sort of accident kill that I come down here to check to make sure that there is, if that's a possibility, I can utilise it. So first things first, I noticed this room. First it was locked, so I unlocked it with a lockpick as you do. And of course, in here is the surveillance cameras or whatever you call it. So first things first, tackle that and delete the evidence from the cameras. So of course you won't get spotted. And of course it helps for the rate. 
So checking out that room and checking out, there's not much to go on. There's not really much we can help with uh, There's nothing going to aid us to kill uh, the prince. Two little things there for you as well. You've got the scissors on the left and of course a bridge, uh, the bridge, uh, church key, apologies. So in here, he roams around quite a lot. And of course with his three bodyguards there, the prince is making his way over here. So I also needed to know if... He discusses something with one of the guards that could be of assistance. Or possibly he discusses where an opportunity where he might be. So 47 can take care of him and do what he does best. So I found this little bit of a cubby hole here just to stand and watch out and listen to the conversation. Have to be careful, this geezer here. So I went for a classic in the corner style. I was, I was going to go for the lean, but then maybe people would get suspicious. So I just went into a timeout here. And just started to look at the wall. Now looking at the wall is rather enjoyable. It's uh, It looks a little bit moulded. Could do with a lick of paint. And it took quite a while. So we're going to just uh, admire this wall for a good few moments. And listen to the conversation. I mean, that guard didn't even say anything about a bald-headed assassin. Oh, sorry, a bald-headed bodyguard. Because he is uh, just wearing his bodyguard uniform. And of course with a shining tattoo on the back of his head. So unfortunately this conversation didn't really give us much information. However, where he is standing is not far away from a chandelier that's above his head. So the brain cells were ticking right now and they were going into overtime on how we can eliminate the prince silently and deadly of course. So the idea right now, the pr primary option for me is to drop the chandelier on his head. Sounds like a good idea, but I'm going to begin to skip this video in a moment because there is really not much happening right now. I'm still looking at the wall. I'm in timeout, so I'm just going to skip it ahead. I literally watched and waited in here for quite a while, about a minute's worth, and nothing happened. So skipping ahead, we're going to go into this stairwell here on our way up to the bell tower and just to listen to one more of his conversation with one of the bodyguards. Now from this conversation, it, it also piqued my interest because he mentioned he would like to see the view of the beautiful bell tower from the beautiful bell tower of sapienza should i say so yes that's a possibility maybe we could push him off the edge maybe you can push him off the edge sadly i did not i came up with a more unique design but as you can see with this chandelier here there's no way to drop it or at least i couldn't find it unless i had a silenced weapon and i was not in possession of a silenced weapon so the new plan is Get ready for him to come up here when he's near the bell tower. So we can push him off the edge. However, that isn't the method I decided to take. So picking up the crowbar just because it's another weapon, it's an also another item we could throw as a, use to, as a some sort of deterrent. And of course, the bell tower also drops. You can break it and it will collapse onto his head, crushing him into oblivion. I've already made up my mind how now I'm going to kill the prince. How are you going to kill the prince? Let me know in the comments down below. But I had already made my mind up and the prince will be dead by 47's hands. So I stayed up here for quite a while, gazing and looking upon the view. And also at this point I think I'd spent maybe an hour and a bit and I really needed to do something else. So I decided, hmm, I could just pop him. Make it sound like a bit of a dis... some sort of accident but sadly not with that security guard being right there it's probably not going to work out too well for 47 so i stayed up here for quite a while and i just observed i probably observed for around 20 minutes i have had to edit this video quite a lot to make sure it's reasonably short but i thought it'd be very important to subdue this guy because he won't be waking up by the time i finish this level so i'd subdued him probably don't need to Probably if you do it slick enough, you probably do, you can probably do it without. But I'm, I still waited for quite a while and I've learnt the prince's path. The prince is now stood at the, at the altar and he is making his way into the stairwell right now. And the way you can tell this is by, of course, the bodyguard. You see the light above his head, the little circle. This would tell me how close he is. And I just went for it. It's coming down. And bang. Target eliminated. So I, I actually panicked a little bit here because I thought, oh my godness, I've done it. 
I need to get out, because of course with the elusive contracts, as soon as you kill the target, you can no longer restart the level. So, whether that was a test for me, or just some sort of winging it, I think I basically winged it, it's pretty much me, I decided, let's just get the hell out of here. So I, I hopped the fence, or hopped the railing, should I say, and we're going to try and vault down. And then I realised, where the hell is the, the pipe? So of course the pipe is here on the back of the building, so I probably should have vaulted the other way. But nonetheless, we're here now. So of course we're going to get onto this drain pipe and slide our way to freedom. It's James Bond-esque. So here we are. And now of course I was still keeping my distance because I wasn't sure if these bodyguards were going to spot me because, I don't know, they do something crazy sometimes in some of the Hitman games. So I'll pull out my pistol, look like I'm part of the Part of the cra part of the clan, part of the cronies, and for some strange reason, this guy told me I was trespassing. So I had a look on the left, and I realised there was no door. So I'm going to make my way over to the right hand side, and have a quick gander to make sure he doesn't. And there's no trespassing. So I actually don't know what happened there. So I thought I will make my way into here, get back into my original clothing, because of course. 47 style, you have to change back in the signature suit as you leave. And it's literally just me escaping from here. I ran all the way back to the starting menu, at menu starting point, and got into this little beautiful car. I made my way out to Sapienza as a hero, and as a silent assassin, I hoped. I don't think I did get silent assassin in the end, I think uh, I killed, I think there was a non-target kill in that, it was a civilian casualty, or at least a bodyguard casualty. Oh well, it, you know, mistakes happen, I guess, but it's all good now. The prince has perished, the bell tower landed, 7,000 XP, not too shabby indeed. So of course that is all for uh, Dr. Ace's Sapienza, the prince elusive target. I hope you enjoyed the video as always. So, uh, oh, also, just a quick mention, I do apologise to my loyal fans for not live streaming this Sunday gone. MotoGP was on quite late. And after I finished watching all the interviews and the press conference, it did get rather late and I did get rather tired. So I do apologise for not bringing you a live stream. However, live streams will be returning this Sunday for the Sunday stream. And the stream team, of course, myself, Blue and Rio the Cats. So, of course, thank you very much for watching as always. I've waffled on for about 12 and a half minutes now, so I should call it an end. Thank you very much as always. Please like, comment and subscribe and be sure... To click the bell icon to, so, so you know when I come up next. Thanks for watching as always. I must have said that five times already. Ciao for now, people.